were the only There is none like you, oh the other God, oh the other God. We are the ways of men, you are the only God. There is none like you, oh the other God, so the other God. They are the works of men. You are the only God. This God, Jehovah, you are the Mosai. You are the Mosai God. You are the Mosai Jehovah. The Mosai. You are the most like us. Oh, the other God. They are the weeks of me. You are the only God. There is a light. Oh, the other gods, oh, the other God. The wakes of men. that you have met we shall rejoice and be glad in it we thank you for this prayer meeting oh God and we say take over and take control in the mighty name of Jesus Holy Spirit to welcome your presence we need you today we need you this morning as we pray Lord God Almighty we pray that the Holy Spirit helps us and pray for us and pray with us in the mighty name of Jesus. For it is written that the Spirit forever lives to make intercession on our behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, with groanings which cannot be uttered. I thank you because today, as we continue to pray for America, as we continue to pray for nations, our prayers will be heard and they shall be deliverance and the healing in the mighty name of Jesus upon America. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I would like to ask Pastor Colin to put for us the Lord's Prayer. Amen. Mm. Oh, the other gods, they are the works of men. You are the only God. There mm. is none like you. Mm. We can read. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our, our Father, Father, which art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. Our debts. And lead us, lead us not, not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us from of evil. evil. Thine is the Thine kingdom, is the, kingdom the, power, the power, and the, and the glory, glory forever. forever. 
Amen. Amen. Let us go before the Lord and pray in the Spirit. Hallelujah.
Brate bouza de broshi kapa papa papa zete bosh riata la mazete ke bronda mazete bo reke ke ke broshi apa papa zete bo reka tala maso zete krepo repa papa papa tera bazete le boshi ke de basato roko toro boshi ete le boshi ende brate bouza. Pratele bazete le boshi ka pratele le man bazete ke te ke pronde bazete te ria pa 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 chara basete ke bosa pratele mazete ke pa 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 ra pa 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 zete re 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 boshi pratele bazete te boshi ka 
Rapa papa papa Rapa papa Rapa papa zete re bo shia Rapa papa Rapa papa 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 Rapa <laughs> 
Yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, the your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will in this current day is that your people will receive Christ as the Lord. That the nations will receive you, they will know you in the power of your resurrection. We thank you, Lord God, the power of the Lord. 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 Repa pa de broshi kapa se tere manda brate lepo se te kida brosha. Rapa pa 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 te ra ba se tere mando. Ma ze ke te ri a brote lepo sha te ra ma so preta le bosa. Rapa pa 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 te ra ba se tere mando. Repa pa 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 te ra Rica <laughs> Rapa papa Rapa <laughs> Hallelujah, <laughs> 
Rapa, <laughs> 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord Amen. continuing uh, with our prayers for America. Amen. But then later on at the Amen. end of the prayers, we are also going to pray for the convention. Amen. Amen. We're going to Amen. look at Romans chapter 2, verse 4 to 9, as the instruction was given to take note of this scripture for the next uh, uh, seven days as we are praying for America. We are going to read Romans chapter 2, verse 4 to 9. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. Romans chapter 2, verse 4 to 9. Hallelujah. Let us all despises thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering. Not knowing that the goodness of God needed thee to repentance, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasures up unto thyself, wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who read that to every man. According, according to his according deeds, to his deeds. To them who by patient continuance in the world doing seek for glory and honor and immortality eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, 
but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, and tribulation, and anguish upon every soul of men that do with evil of the first and also of the eternal. Hallelujah. Oh, can you also kindly put Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 19? Going to concentrate this prayer point, we are going to concentrate is number five of Romans 2, which says, But after thy heart and impotent heart treasures up to thyself of wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Hallelujah. That is our verse five. Then our prayer point is going to come from Ezekiel 11. Verse 19. And it says, I will give them one heart, and I'll put a new spirit within you. And I'll take the stony heart out of their flesh, and I'll give them a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. We want to go before God and pray as we are praying for America. Everything that is happening that is not looking godly in America and throughout is cause of the hardening the hearts of people so we want to pray that god give people a heart of flesh remove a heart of stone and put a half of a heart of flesh upon all the people of america and upon all the people in the whole world because the, the spirit of the lord can penetrate easily when there is uh, a heart of um of flesh amen people will be able to re- to be born again to be receptive of the word of god to be receptive of the holy spirit hallelujah people will be able to love one another again there will not be those killings the kidnappings the gender based violence the immorality because people have received the holy spirit when their heart has been softened so we want to pray that god give people in America a new spirit and take away from them a stony heart and put a heart of flesh. Praise the Lord. That will bring many to repentance and salvation. Let us go before the Lord and pray this scripture in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen.
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the upcoming elections. Hallelujah in America. Praise the Lord. Um, Psalm 75. We'll put up verse 6 to 7. Then Daniel 2, verse 20 to 21. We are going to pray for America, amen, the elections that are coming. Everything that happens in America has got an impact to us as well, hallelujah. Even the exchange rate is affected when there is an instability in USA. We want to pray for the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding, hallelujah. Is the voting will be taking place, the campaignings, everything. Amen. Let us read Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. Then we'll also read Daniel 2, verse 20 to 21. Let us read. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. 
but God but is the God judge. Is he put it down one and set it up another. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Daniel 2, verse 20 to 21. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and God ever. Forever. For wisdom, for wisdom and, might and might are his. And he changed, he changed the times, the times and, and the seasons. seasons. He removed he kings, kings and set it up and kings. Set it up kings. He, he gave it the wisdom, wisdom unto the, unto wise, the wise and knowledge, and knowledge to, to them that, that know and understand. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to pray according to this word. God is the one who, who gives wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. He removes kings and setteth up kings. Hallelujah. We Amen. want to pray that the president will be chosen, will be chosen by God. Hallelujah. Amen. People will vote peacefully, but God will select and ordain a leader who knows him and serve him and accurately represent God. Hallelujah. We also Amen. want to pray that God will give wisdom to that leader to lead the people that Christ died for. Hallelujah. That Amen. God will have, give these leaders um, also godly counselors. Praise the mm. Lord. So I want to go Amen. before the Lord. The elected leader must be boldly stand in the face of evil. Hallelujah. Without breaking down on righteousness. So we want to pray that the leader will be fearing God, will be God-fearing, will be a leader after God's own heart. Praise the mm. Lord. Amen. And it shall be well with America. Amen. Let us go before the Lord and pray in the spirit. Rapa <laughs> 
Rakata 
Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 But we want to take some time to, to pray for our convention. Amen. Amen. We need to invite the presence of the Lord Amen. in all the plans that are being made concerning the convention to put the plans in the hands of the Lord and say, Lord, may you order our footsteps as we prepare for this function. Hallelujah. Amen. We want us to pray from Psalm 127, verse 1. Psalm 127, verse 1. Hallelujah. We will make plans, but God establishes the plans. Amen. Praise the Lord. We shall read. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it but in vain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we want the Lord to be the center of the convention. We want the plans of the Lord to prevail. What is upon the heart of God concerning the convention? Hallelujah. As we plan, we want God to seal this convention. We pray, we also want to cover the convention with the blood of Jesus. Cover all the people who are going to travel with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cover the speakers, the guests with the blood of Jesus. And we want to pray that the will of the Lord concerning the uh, convention will be manifested. Hallelujah. The winning of souls for the kingdom of God. Let's go before the Lord and say, oh God, let the convention be a success for the glory of the Lord. Let the will of the Lord prevail concerning the convention. Father, we thank you. You are faithful, Lord, and always we will 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor. Um, I'd like to just take over that prayer at this point and then round it up. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I pick up each time we're praying for the convention, I just pick up that we must pray that we will have a conducive atmosphere for convention. Amen. And, um, and then I, uh, I, I keep praying that prayer, but then I ask the Lord, but why? You know, that as we were praying now, I was like having a conversation with the Lord that but why? Why is this like we cannot trust you for one or you can't do one? And then he said, we need to war. Hallelujah. We Amen. need to war against the powers of darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. That would not want us to have that convention because that convention is really going to destroy their kingdom. And so we need to really, really war. And so we will take our anchor, we will take it, and then uh, we will just use it to war against them. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. First Chronicles 29 from verse uh, 10 to 13. Be thou exalted, be thou exalted, be thou exalted, O Lord. Heaven adore thee, earth 
David blessed the Lord. Bless the congregation. Before the and congregation, and David said, Blessed Wait. be thou, Lord. Be thou Lord. God of Israel, our Father, our Father. Thine, Thine Lord, 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 is the greatness, and the power, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord. And thou art exalted as heaven above all. Both riches and honor come of thee. And thou reignest over all. And in thy hand is And in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now therefore, our God, we thank thee. Praise thy glorious name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the glory. We thank you, omnipotent God, eternal rock of ages, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Oh, Father, the glorious majesty, Macropocose belongs to you. The heaven belongs to you. The earth belongs to you. Everything belongs to you, Father. It is your will that we should have a convention. Thy kingdom, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done concerning that convention. Thy will be done, Father. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Let not the will of demons prevail. Let not the will of man prevail. Let not the will of the devil prevail. Father, we exalt you. You are exalted above them. The belongs to you. The kingdoms belong to you. Everything in heaven and on earth belongs to you. Arise, Father, let your enemies be scattered. Arise and scatter them. The ones that are meeting, sure we don't have that convention, my Father, to make sure that the restrictions are not lifted. The ones that are putting restrictions on the church, putting restrictions on the number of people that can meet in the Lord. Arise, Father, let your enemies Rabba, <laughs> <laughs> 
Let's look at Psalm 33. Psalm 33, verses 10 and 11, and then uh, Psalm 21, verse 11, and cancel their plans. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we read? It says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the hidden to naught. He make it the devices of the people of non effect. The counsel of the Lord stand there forever. 
the first of to all generations. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 11. Hallelujah, Jesus, we worship you. Would not bring all their counsel, the counsel of the hidden to not their expectation counselors. Make all their devices of non effect. Let the counsel, let your will, O Lord, let your counsel stand forever. Okay, we can read it up to verse 11. I'm looking at verse 11. If we want verse 11, we can, but we can take this verse from verse 7 to 11. Hallelujah. For the king trusted in the Lord and through the mercy of the Most High, it shall not be moved. Thy hand shall find out all thy enemies. Thy right hand shall find out those that hurt thee. Thou shalt make them as fiery over in the time of thy anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their food shall be destroyed from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Hallelujah. Thus lose the hand of God Almighty against them, against all their mates. They are meeting in the air, whether in the sea, whether in hell, wherever they are meeting against this convention, my father will lose your mighty hand against them, will lose your rod against them, will lose your fire against them, will lose your brimstones against them, will lose your we your desire that we know it is your will, we know it is your counsel, let your will be done. We are not Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes, Amen. Finally, I want us to pray against all these restrictions. Hallelujah. I want to thank God that coronavirus is going down in this nation. 
and we're going to pray that the Lord will speak to the leaders so that people can flee freely, freely, freely go and worship. I know what is waiting for us tomorrow, frustrated people hanging around because they can't go into the house of God. We want God to help us in the name of Jesus. That the restrictions may be removed. We are removed very fast. That the virus will be a thing of the past. we bind the prince of the power of the air we bind all this wish of wickedness in high places every what that is something Father we command the fire of God to consume them let restrictions be totally removed so that we can gather together even for the convention. We need it these restrictions to be totally so that we can gather for the purpose of the purpose of the purpose the purpose of the purpose of the 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 Father, we Almighty you. God, Father, God, we glorify your name. Jehovah, we magnify your name. From the rising of the sun unto its going down, the name of the Lord shall be praised. The God of the universe. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified in the heavens, be glorified in mighty Lord, be glorified in the earth, oh, be glorified in your temple, Lord, ah, Jesus, Jesus, be your glory, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you the glory. We thank you, omnipotent God, eternal rock of ages. 
We thank you because you are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. We thank you, Father, because you are the one that has mandated us to pray. Lord, you have even encouraged us to pray until you answer. You said we should remember, you gave us that parable of the widow that went before the judge day and night until she got an answer. Therefore, Amen. Father, our eyes are on you for favorable answers to all these prayers. I want to thank you, omnipotent God, for the strength you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us. Thank you, Amen. eternal rock of ages, for encouraging our hearts to pray. Amen. Take the Amen. glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all our brethren that are could not come to pray. We are asking, Father, that you also continue to put your hands on them and lift them up and encourage all their hearts to continue to seek you because at this hour we must seek you till you answer us. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the anointing. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for the authority you have given to us. Take all the glory glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father, I want to thank you for your servants that you have been using to lead us in praying for the United States of America. Oh, Father, Father, we ask that you take absolute control of that nation. We bind all the principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, whatever authorities are controlling the affairs of that nation, whether from within or from without, we cast those powers in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to consume the powers that are causing confusion in the United States of America. Let all the curses be cursed. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ on that nation for the sake of the elect, for the sake of the poor, for the sake of the fatherless, for the sake of the needy, we the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. We lose your mighty hand of justice, your hand of righteousness. Father, because promotion belongs to you, it doesn't come from anywhere. It doesn't come from the north, the south, the east, or west. It comes from you. You raise up one and you put down another. The times are in your hand. The seasons are in your hands. The times are in your hands. The seasons are in your hands. The times of the USA, the times of the earth at this point in time, Father, they are in your hands, omnipotent God, eternal rock of ages. Stretch forth your mighty hands, O God, and pull down all the unrighteous leaders wherever they may be, whether in the US, in any corner of the earth, whether in Nigeria, everyone that is ruling the nations with unrighteousness, I lose your hand against them. I move your righteous hand against them, my father. Whatever may be the powers that are supporting them, we lose your hand against them because of the poor, because of the fatherless, because of the widow. The Bible says you execute justice for the oppressed, oh God. You execute justice for the oppressed. You execute justice. 
justice for the oppressed. You are the father of the fatherless, the husband of the widow. You give food to the hungry. Therefore, Father, everyone that is oppressing the poor, oppressing the needy in all the nations of the earth, let your mighty hand remove them. The Bible says uh, when the righteous rules, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rules, uh, the people mourn. We have mourned enough. Nations have mourned. Father, come and wipe the tears of the faces of your people. Whether in Asia, whether in Africa, whether in Europe, whether in the Americas, whether in families, we demand that you execute justice and righteousness above Father in the name of Jesus, for the kingdom is yours, for the power is yours, for the greatness is yours. You are exalted above them all. We can't go to the back of the day, Papa, you raise up one and you put another. You are the one that puts things in place. My father, enough is enough. 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 Execute righteousness and justice on earth, my father. Even if the Lord is coming tomorrow morning, I demand my Father in glory that this hour there will be righteousness. There will be justice on this planet's earth. Enough of tears. My Father in glory, where is your face? Where is your power? Where you have told us the greatness is yours, the power is yours, the glory is yours, the majesty is yours, the victory is yours. You say everything, all things in heaven and on earth, they are yours, and yes, the kingdoms Lord. are yours, and you are exalted above yes, them. Father, take over, take over. Even if it remains a minute for Jesus to come and take over this head, Father, that the earth might know, that mortal men might know that they are not in charge, that Satan might know that you are God. We pray that you debase the powers that be, that you take over, that your spirit will take over, that your fire will take over, that your kingdom will come back and take over. You are the God of the whole earth. You created the heaven and the earth. As it is written that the gods that did not create the heaven and the earth, they are the ones that must perish. We don't want to see them. We are tired of them. We don't want to see them in the church. We don't want to see them in the governance of the earth. We don't want to see the faces of the poor grinding. We don't want to see gender violence. We don't want to see rape. We don't want to see mothers. We don't want to see wars. We don't want to see famine. Father, we are tired of injustice. Arise over, let your enemies be buried. You bless Pharaoh. All the enemies of unrighteousness on this planet that are grinding the faces of the poor, the fatherless, the motherless. Let there be justice on earth. Let there be righteousness. Oh, Father, we pray for all the nations at this time. There is enough wealth to go around, yet people are dying from hunger, people are jobless, people are committing suicide, all kinds of frustrations are 
bring out your mighty hand bring out your mighty hand bring out your mighty hand my father let there be justice let there be justice you say in Isaiah 40 59 that because there's nobody asking for justice you are very upset my father we are asking for justice we are asking for justice we are asking for righteousness we are asking for your divine intervention you said you will not allow your holy ones to seek corruption. We are yes, corruption. Yes. Your church is tired of corruption. We are tired of injustice. We are tired of corruption. We are tired of the murders. We are tired of the wars. We are tired of death. We are tired of COVID 19. We are tired of sicknesses. We are tired of diseases. We are tired of we are tired of hunger. We are tired of suicide. We are tired of rapes. We are tired of violence. Father, can we take a look at the world? Take a look at the world. Take a look at the world. Take a look at the world. You are still in charge. Look at the world. Take a look at the world. Our eyes are on you. Arise, my father. Arise in righteousness. Arise in your wrath against all the enemies of righteousness your word says in Psalm 9 do not allow man to prevail do not allow the devil to prevail anymore I command the open heavens of righteousness open heavens of justice open heavens of justice open heavens of deliverance for the earth open heavens of the judgment of the powers that be father you see when the Holy Ghost happens we shall complete the, the, the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment because the prince of this world is judged let the powers that are backing up that are backing up with cultic pastors, with cultic leaders, with cultic people. Let the powers be judged in the name of Jesus. That kingdom come, that will be done. You are the one that has mandated us to pray. I put on my prayer apostolic mantle concerning the earth right now. I put on the prophetic mantle. I put on the apostolic mantle. I put on that apostolic mantle. And I declare the decree of heaven, the end of wickedness in the nations of the earth. My father, my daughter, you called us to pray. You didn't ask us to seek you in vain. You didn't ask us to pray in vain. Your 
Bre Kosho Koko Kosoto, Makate Cheke Sente, bring out your mighty hand of deliverance and deliver the earth from these wicked people. Makote Cheke 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 Deliver the nations, deliver the fatherless, deliver the poor, deliver the needy, deliver the church of God, deliver us in Kate Papa, Makudi Kate Koko Kosi Kate Kate Papa Koko Koshoto. I address the origin of COVID-19. I address the origin of the oppressions on earth. I address the origins of the fires. I address the origins of the floods. I address the origins of wickedness. Papa Koro Poko Dete Katete Makoro Poko Sente Dete Reke Seke Dete Koro Poko Shokra Papa. Father, if you are the one that has anointed us to pray, we know we are protected against them. Therefore, arise, Father, consume them. Consume them. Death, consume death, consume death. You are the consuming fire. I cover us, I cover our homes, I cover our children, I cover our children, I cover our, children, children. I cover our churches, I cover our brethren, I cover these ministries with the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. Father, Satisfy us early with your mercy, O oh Lord, that we may see gladness, that we may see joy. Satisfy us early, O oh God. Make us glad. Make the nations glad according to the number of years that we have been afflicted, according to the number of days that we have seen trouble. Father, fulfill all your promises. Let there be yes, showers Lord. of blessing. Powers that have been reversing our prayers. Powers Jesus. that have been coming against our prayers. Abba, Father, we command the fire of God to consume them. Father, answer us by fire. Answer us by fire. Answer us by fire. Answer us now. Elijah said the God that answered by fire, he will be the God above Father. I decree by the decree of heaven a shift by fire, a shift by fire, a shift to your praise and glory in every corner of the earth, in every situation of, of the of the nation. So God and family so my father people are dying people are locked up in their houses people oh, cannot Jesus. move around people are losing their livelihood ah <laughs> Ah, kade paku di kese kete te kro poko si kate te kate pa kro pa 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 People are calling me from all over the places. They are calling and they are in tears. Ma kro poko sente. They are depressed. They lose. They are losing their livelihood. They are losing loved ones. My father, rise and not face and not face. Kate pa pa kate pa pa kate kete te kate pa pa. Ro poko she kete te kate te. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise concerning the convention. We thank you, Lord, because it is your cancer. All the powers that are working against them, against the convention, even as we have called on you, thank you because you have scattered them onto desolation. We thank you, Lord, that between now and December, all these restrictions will disappear. We'll be able to gather together that to your praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus sikate pa kropo ko sikete te karika sikete te raka sikete te kropo ko shanto we thank you lord we give you praise thank you lord for all your servants that are on this forum the ones that are here 
do today, the ones that are not here, Heavenly Father, bless every one of us, bless our homes, bless our children, bless the work of our hands, even as we have been concerned for your kingdom, Father, be concerned for all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. You are the Lord God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we may ask or think according to your power that works in us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Surely, goodness, goodness and, and mercy shall follow us all the all days, the of, days our of our lives. We shall we dwell, shall in, the dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever and, ever. and ever. Amen. Amen. Now may the grace Amen. of our Lord Jesus, Lord Christ, Jesus Christ, the love, the of, love God, of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and and forevermore. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. You are blessed. Thank you so much. Yes, hallelujah. Elder Ike, you will be leading tonight. Let's give us Ali some break so she can rest. Hallelujah. Amen. Kejugu, you are there. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we give you the next two days, hallelujah, and then evangelist said to take the next day, then I'll take the last day for these special prayers, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. you know, w- one woman called me from Marienta when I came back from the office. I came back around uh, seven, I was so very tired, and she was just crying. I think she saw the number online and she cried and cried. And I said, okay, how do I help you? No, I have lost my job. I'm depressed. I cannot feed my, it was horror stories. And as tired as I was, I just took time to minister to her. And I saw that the Lord was happy because as soon as I, I, I was so tired, I couldn't even start cooking. I just sat in the kitchen and I was looking at all the things I needed to do. And uh, I was saying to myself, when will I ever rest? <laughs> and as Simon said, it is true, mommy, you don't rest. I, I don't, I, it was there, he came to drop the back. I was just talking to myself and he responded. He said, you don't rest. I said, my sister, my brother, so how do I rest now? There's no food in my house. Do you want to cook? <laughs> I have to cook. You know, I just sat there. But I saw that as soon as I ministered to this woman, the Lord just rewarded me with strength. And I was able to do what I need. So uh, the Lord is concerned. Amen. He's concerned Amen. that people are... You know, we are really, we, we are blessed. We don't know what people are going through. People yes. are suffering. And I said, mm. where are you calling from, Marienta? And I, I get all kinds of calls like that. And so please let us be sensitive. Let us pray that all these things will lift because God can lift them. Let's Amen. just, uh, even if it is a few of us on this planet Earth that, that can still believe God, let us believe him to the end. Amen. 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 God ble- Thank you so much. God bless you all. Amen. It is Amen. well. See, see you Amen. later. Yeah. Enjoy your yes. sleep. Thank you. Amen. Enjoy yours Amen. too. Amen. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Amen.